Kong is just an incredibly moving speaker and uh, for him to share his interpersonal experiences with the students I think is terrific. I'd hope to gain from Judge Sung's insight um, some deeper understanding of the social, moral and also political values of why the ICC is so important. His future goal in terms of the ICC and how they are going to uh, bring more criminals to face the, uh, the justice. In 1950, a Korean War broke out. Uh, at that time, I was uh, almost nine years old. But um, we had to hide ourselves in the underground bunker in Seoul City for three months under the uh, communist North Korean occupation. During uh, the battle for Seoul City, um, I was solely responsible for uh, collecting the food every day for my entire family. During these trips, I, I passed hundreds of dead bodies lying on the street in the Seoul City. To this day, I can precise precisely remember the horrible stench of the uh, decomposing corpse in those hot summer days. The, the Korean War ended in 1953, and I was uh, allowed to grow up in relative peace from that time on. I pursued my interest in law uh, uh, um, at uh, Seoul National University Law Faculty. Throughout this time, I often thought of how lucky I was to have survived the war and to have had an opportunity to go on and live a normal life. I was, I, it was an extreme luxury for me to be able to go abroad for advanced legal studies and uh, get the, all the uh, necessary international exposures, not only in the United States, but also uh, uh, a few uh, places in, in Europe. When the International Criminal Court was established, by, by its founding treaty, um, the Rome Statute, in July 1st in 2002. Um, I was s still, uh, I was a professor of law of Seoul National University. I was deeply honored and extremely excited about the possibility of serving on the historic new international court in the making. In its uh, 12 years of existence, the ICC has, has developed into an effective judicial institution that is uh, having a real impact on how the world thinks and acts in regards to uh, uh, genocide, crimes against humanity, and uh, war crimes. Um, one of the unique aspects of the ICC is its focus on the experiences and perspectives of the victims of such crimes. It's a very unique and very meaningful, very novel, uh, experiment which in my view cannot afford to fail. ICC um, needs to oh, more vigorously 
engage in outreach activities so that the people in the situation countries are well aware of what ICC is doing. <clears throat> in this context, um, I once visited uh, the birthplace of uh, Thomas Lubanga. Of course, uh, the entire village was fully pregnant of hostilities uh, to the ICC and toward me, and uh, I just felt uh, you know, physically very uh, threatened. But uh, when we engaged in uh, question and answers, the, the village people, 500 uh, people were assembled in the town hall. They all just want to ask various questions, but most of their questions are very intelligent ones, very, very intelligent ones. And when we showed uh, some uh, video which, uh, which covered the Thomas Lubanga uh, trial process, their attitude uh, completely turned in favor of the ICC because they saw they what they had in mind is the poor, horrible uh, prison conditions in their own country, but they saw our detention facilities and uh, they saw Lubanga was well dressed up and well shaved and you know uh, and then he uh, even exchanged uh, jokes with this uh, defense counsel and uh, very you know triumphantly um, you know countered the uh, prosecutor and uh, he just uh, said everything he wants wants to say in his own mother tongue and all this. So they were, it, it completely changed their, their you know, impression uh, or understanding about the ICC proceedings that's going on in The Hague. And they said, wow, we can trust you. We can trust the ICC. But uh, the, the son of our village, will eventually be acquitted and triumphantly return to our village. This is what we believe. Uh, sorry uh, for being around for too long, so <laughs> I, in, a, in a few months I will, uh, I will step down from this post uh, altogether and just go home and just, uh, uh, enjoy playing with my grandchildren. Uh, however, of course I'll uh, continue to, uh, to uh, promote this uh, why we need international criminal justice, how it should uh, work, and, uh, and um, more than anything else, um, I hope to uh, get more, more specifically the Asia-Pacific countries to ratify the Rome Statute. I'm from that region, I'm the first president uh, from that region. So I put the more emphasis on this particular region. Please remember that you as a, maybe, uh, I don't know what you'll do in your future career, if you maybe future maybe lawyers or, or uh, professors or judges or politicians or diplomats uh, have the potential to make a positive impact on the world. Maybe uh, through your efforts, well, the United States will eventually join the Rome Statute family. <laughs> if you are truly convinced in the Rome Statute's vision of a more peaceful future, your work starts now. 
uh, it is now up to your generation to carry on the efforts to strive for justice and lasting peace. Well, thank you so much for yeah. meeting with us. Uh, well, it's my pleasure always, and uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, it's uh, providing me with this uh, wonderful opportunity. <laughs>